If you subscribe to a cable or satellite TV service, chances are there's a toggle somewhere on your set-top box that allows you to switch between 720p or 1080i. But you've also probably noticed that most TVs and monitors advertise themselves as 1080p these days, which doesn't match up with either of those. So what gives? You see, that P you always see at the end of 1080p stands for progressive. And no, I'm not talking about the insurance company or Bernie Sanders. I'm talking about progressive scan, which means it will draw all of the lines in a single frame of video sequentially so that each frame contains a complete image that fills the screen. By contrast, the little I stands for interlaced, in which only every other line of an image is displayed in one frame. Interlaced signals are common not only for 1920 by 1080 TV channels, but they were also dominant back in the day of analog television, where almost everyone was watching at 480i or 576i on CRT displays. But why? Wouldn't it be more straightforward to display one whole image per frame? Well, part of the reason was bandwidth. You see, only so much data can be flung over the airwaves or a coaxial cable at once. Interlaced video saves on bandwidth by only sending half of a complete frame at once. This allowed older TV sets to refresh more frequently for smoother motion, as they could show 60 half frames per second instead of 30 full frames. But modern LCD flat panel TVs only support progressive scanning. So how do they work then with interlaced 1080i signals provided by cable or satellite TV services? Well, the signals have to be what is called deinterlaced. This can be done by either the set-top box or the TV itself, but either way, it's an imperfect science. You see, the two halves of a fully interlaced frame aren't two halves of the exact same image. Rather, they are usually delivered as the halves of two separate, slightly different frames. So when you put them together, they don't look quite perfect, and on low quality displays, this can show up as what's called combing in places where the two half frames don't match up very well. TVs use processing tricks to help avoid really bad artifacting in deinterlaced video, and generally it works fairly well on displays that are worth their salt. And although many cable boxes can also deinterlace signals, it's typically a better idea to let your TV do it, as cable boxes are all too often made by the lowest bidder, and the deinterlacing logic inside them won't be as good as what your TV offers. But even with a nicer TV, it can still be possible to notice a reduction in picture quality when there's rapid movement on screen, such as if you're watching a sporting event. Because two half frames in sequence during something like a hockey game can be way out of sync due to the fast motion of the players, many sports networks like ESPN have actually chosen to broadcast in 720p instead of 1080i, sacrificing resolution for better movement. But come on Linus, this is 2016! Why do we have to sacrifice anything? Well. Due to the cost of upgrading systems, as well as the fact that most bourgeoisie viewers seem to be content with 1080i service, we probably won't see real 1080p at 60 frames per second over cable and satellite anytime soon. However, the good news is that computers have no problem outputting 1080p signals, so if you're one of the many folks who are constantly using their rigs for everything from gaming to watching Netflix in HD or even 4K, you won't have to worry about interlacing artifacts. Yet another reason to join the PC Master Race. Just make sure that you don't have to give up a kidney to your satellite provider in order to get out of your contract. TunnelBear VPN lets you tunnel to 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as though you are in that aforementioned different country. They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. They've also got a Chrome extension. And all you do, like seriously, my family could do it, which is like a serious endorsement, is click the button, the little switch moves to 
on, then whatever country it is that you pick, boom, your connection gets encrypted and the public IP address that you are showing to the websites and services that you use gets switched to pretend as though you're in somewhere else. And TunnelBear lets you bypass all the annoying details that typically come with using a VPN, like messing around with port configurations or DNS or router settings or any of that nonsense. They've got a top rated privacy policy and you can try TunnelBear for free with 500 megs of data with no credit card required at the link in the video description. Then, if you want to save 10% on your unlimited data plan, you can also go to that link. So you got to go to the link either way, so you might as well just get on with it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to check out our other channels, boom, right over there. If you want to leave a comment with video suggestions, boom, right down there. And if you want to subscribe, well, come on. You know where the subscribe button is. Let's get this show on the road.